hi guys welcome to another interesting tutorial this is inky today i will be showing you how to make a stand collar with bones and this type of collars can be used for your runway shows and also for photo shoots like birthday photo shoots and so on so i have done one and this is i'm trying to knot it at the back and this is how it looks so i want to appreciate all our subscribers and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel feel free to do that today as lots of amazing tutorials are with you on this channel so you can start by taking your measurement this way so to get your circumference because you're going to cut a circular pattern in this tutorial so whatever you have here like in, in this case i have 40 so whatever you have here subtract four inches away from this then you have i have 36 so 36 is my circumference measurement now. Then I'm going to fold into four. The normal way we cut our 360 degree flare. So I'm going to use a 360 degree flare. So before I go, these are the materials needed for the tutorial. Machine thread, bias tape, plastic bones, one yard of fabric applique, and gum to gum your to attach your embellishment to the fabric. So you can use, there are different several methods you can use. You can use the um, freehand method to get your circumference because I need 36. Like 36 divided by 4 will give me 9. So, but you can also use a calculation method. You can use a formula like it is on the screen. So I have 5.7 as the radius. You can take 5.7 all through, and that 5.7 as radius will give you 36 inches circumference. Then I'll take the length of my circumference. The length is 9 inches. I'm using 9 inches as the length. So I'll go ahead and do that all through. I'll go ahead and do that all through. Do that all through. Then I have my circumference already. Just the way you cut your flares. So, but this is just 360 degree. So having done that, uh, it's folded into 4 right now. I'll open it into 2. Then I'll cut this open this up so i'll just open this up like so then after i've done that i'll spread it out because i'm still going to trim the, the one side so i will spread it out it's folded into two right now spread it out and i high on it so i had I first of all folded it into four i high on it then folded it into two and also high on it so i have this shape is divided into the 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 the, the it is being divided into four right now. So from this angle, from that angle, I will cuff my hand up like so. So from this angle that I'm touching, I will cuff it up to the extreme end. From this angle, I will cuff it up to the extreme end here. So just use your free hand to do that. Then I'm going to trim it out like so. So I'm trimming this part out. Because this is the part that will go back to go to the back. So I'll trim it up and this is what I have. So the shape of the stand collar is out already. So this is how the stand collar will be. So I'm going to retake the measurement again whether the circumference is still intact. So because whatever you have as the circumference here is what you are going to divide. You are going to make some do some divisions. So that you will know the number of panels or the number of bias tape that you need on this stand collar. So I'm dividing 36 by 10 to have 3.6 because all I need is 9 panels. So if you need 11 panels, you are dividing by 10 to have 3 inches. If you need 12, you are dividing by 11. So the number of panels you need, you're going to add 1 to it. So if you need 12 panels, you are going to divide by 13. So I hope you understand that. I will still explain as we go, as we proceed. So here I need 9 panels. So I'm dividing 36 by 10. So I have 3.6. So I'm marking 3.6 all through. By the time I mark everything, I will have 9, nine all together. So in summary, divide the number of times you want the bar step to appear plus 1. So like 9 lines now, if you want 9 lines, divide by 10. If you want 10 lines, divide by 11. If you want 11 lines, divide by 12 and so on. So I want 9 lines. So I'm dividing by 10. I'm dividing my circumference 
the circumference is 36 so I'm dividing it by 10 so I'm going to have nine lines all together by the time I count I complete everything so I'm marking 3.6 now so I will also continue like that and like and so on and so forth so I'll take my ruler and trace out all these lines trace it out and all these lines I'm tracing out now this is where I'm going to place my bias tip my bias tip for design so if you count these lines now we have nine all together one two three four five six seven eight nine so place your bias tape like so place your bias tape and on the other side also i'll place the bias tape then i'm going to use this um fabric flora fabric fabric to design it later so the next thing to do is to so have done one strip then i'll attach this second strip of um, bias also so on the extreme end that's where i'm going to just place my stitch the line so you can see the way i'm stitching it so to the extreme edge of uh, the bias tip so i'm i'm placing the bias on the lines make sure you place the bias on the lines so i'll stitch the other side also after i've cut it i'm going to stitch the other side also to the extreme end just make sure you are you it's very you are very careful while you are doing it you can use any type of fabric for this type of stand color you can use your ankara you can use your um, ashore key you can use your um cutting material you can use any type of material just make sure you get it right so and make sure the the plastic bone you use is the the half inch width make sure it's the half inch width that you use for the purpose of this tutorial so i have done these two strips so i'm still going to complete the other nine nine strips also the seven the seven strips also that is remaining but now i want to show you how to cover up the other side with the bias tape also so i'm going to get the this the same bias tape to cover it up on the other side so this is how it will be. So I see the, the organza material will now be in the middle. The organza material will be in the middle of two bias tapes. So I have covered everything up right now. Such that after placing my bones, my bones will not be showing on the other side. So that's the essence of it. So I have done the nine strips right now. So I have done the nine. I have done the nine. I have clapped it up with a bias tip. So... I've done the nine right now. So this is the next thing to do is the M line of the circle. So the M line of the circle, I'm going to place a bias tape also at the M line of the circle. So I will go ahead right now and place myself in my bias tape as if I want to hem the line. So I'll place my bias tape as if I want to hem the line. As if I want to use that bias tape to M the line, just stitch it to the tip of the M line like so. So, um, take note of this. In this tutorial, I use um, plastic bone of quarter of an inch width. Please, if you want to do your own, use half inch for it to be able to stand and to be able to be strong very well. So, having I'm done, I'm true with this. One bias has been attached to the end line, so I'm going to take another bias to be to clap it up the same way we did for all those panels. So I'll place another bias tape like so. Then I'm going to stitch on the former line. So you can see the way I placed it in such a way that the organza fabric is in the middle of two bias tape. So it's as if you are clapping two bias tape together. In this manner so go ahead and stitch it so you're going to be very very careful as you're doing it so 
such that you're going to follow your former line of stitch. We must follow your former line of stitch. So I'm done with that. Then I'll fold it up like so. I'm clapping it at this point. So everything will now be very, very neat. It will be very, very neat and secured. The reason why I'm doing this is because if it is an Ankara fabric, you don't need to clap it together like this. You just place your bias tape and then. But if you like, you can still use this method. You can still use this method for an Ankara fabric. It will make, make it firmer. To make it firmer and stronger. So, but this is very, very okay for organza material because if you just place the bias tape like that, the your bones will be showing at the other end. Your bones will be showing. So to prevent that, that's why I'm clapping two bias tapes together. This method can as well be used for any type of fabric. So at this point, I'm going to insert my bones. So while you are inserting your bones, push the fabric back or the fabric backward in order to be able to leave sewing allowance at this on the circumference. So I have pushed the fabric backward while I want to put the bones. So make sure you push it backward to be able to have create allowance for your um, circumference. So create allowance at that point. So that by the time you want to finish the the M line, you will be able to have circumference to you will be able to have sewing allowance to do that. So at this point, leave like half inch, leave up like half inch at that point. So that when you want to finish it up, you'll be able to have sewing allowance at that point. So insert here also and push it inward. Push it inward and leave sewing allowance. So I will do likewise for all of this so this is i've done everything so i'm trying to insert bones on the m line right now so you insert a long one on the m line so just push your fabric push the bone inside till it comes out on the other end so when you get to the extreme end do the same thing push the the fabric backward a little so as to have sewing allowance because you are attaching rope here so you need sewing allowance here also push it at this the two edges so that you have sewing allowance then i'm finishing the part where we mark the circumference i'm finishing it up like so i'm using the bar staple to fold it up and finish it in this manner so the essence of this is to make sure all the rough edges has been concealed so go ahead and do that and having completed this the next thing is to attach my rope and i am done with my color stand color making so i am done right now this is what i have i have attached the rope at the extreme edge and um, this is what i have so I want to attach my floral fabrics that I have trimmed out. I want to attach it right now so you can place it this way. Just go ahead and place it. Whichever way you want to place it, you can only place it on the M lines. You can use any type of embellishment to do this. You can use any type of applique to do this. Then I'm going to use my gum to attach it then i'll come and show you the result so i'll go ahead and put gum on the rough side then i'll place it and use it to design my stand color so this is what i have after i have gum it so i make sure i place it on both sides both sides of the stand color so this is what i'm trying to knot it at the back i'm trying to tie the rope at the back that's what i'm trying to do so this is what we have you can see how beautiful it is very very lovely 
so you can go ahead and do yours it does not cost you much so this is the back this is the back so the outcome is very very beautiful it's very very beautiful so you can use any side that's why i make sure there's no right side there's no wrong side so we have come to the end of this tutorial please if you haven't subscribed to my channel do so today as lots of amazing tutorials are with you on this channel so like and share this video if you have any comment you can leave it in the comment section i'm going to reply as soon as i see it so until then take good care of yourself